Hey there, Hugo here from Tech Corner TV and it's mailbag time. Let's jump into it. Let me take this out of the way and we will start with this small one. And yeah, by the sound of it, it seems something like connectors or something like that. Let me. Okay, so we have here um, potentiometers uh, in a box with several knobs and several values. It should have something here saying the values. Uh, I will have to see. Yeah, nothing in the bag. I will have to see uh, what are the, the values of, of this. Yeah, it's a nice uh, box. We are always in need of this kind of potentiometers, regulators and stuff like that. So, yeah, nice one. Let's move on to the next one. Whoa, this is small. Let me see what we have. Ah, okay. So, in this one, nothing very special. It's just some Zener um, diodes. Uh, yeah, I ordered a few of these. Uh, I already received another shipping with this. Uh, yeah, always in need of this. Just some diodes. Okay, so this one was fast let's move on uh, I don't want to make this video very big and yeah okay if you find something some of these things interesting please use the links below to do your shopping and you are helping the channel I have here an interesting one this is a reference uh, decades resistance let me open it yeah so the idea behind this is to to test for example a multimeter and to no this is the right and you can select all the well, all the positions in these jumpers to calculate the right resistance. So this is a eight decade programmable, programmable resistor board. And yeah, you pour it on and you should have uh, the resistor here. Uh, we have one mega, 100K, 10K, 1K, uh, 100 ohms, 10 and 1 ohm. So yeah, it will be useful for the testing of the, for example, the multimeters that I, I have to test. Uh, still have the UT61 plus, the new one, to test here in the channel. So yeah, yeah, nice addition. Let's move on. Let's see what we have here. Another small one. Ah, okay. This this is a USB soundboard. Uh, I bought this not because I need a USB soundboard because I want to test some projects where we can use uh, a USB uh, sound card like this one to do a PC oscilloscope. I want to test a little more uh, around this technology. Uh, I, as you know, I, I have, well, I, I have a passion. By oscilloscopes, I, I really like the technology and I'm trying to learn a little more about it. Uh, I want to do a small one, not because it's cheaper, but to learn more about the, the working. And this is another project, it's to, to use it as a USB oscilloscope, just, well, to pass some time. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, I think that I made 
duplicate orders. Let's see what we have here. Uh, I have a few more potentiometers and knobs also. So I don't know why, but I think I might have made duplicate order. So we have here five knobs and also five potentiometers. Those are WH148 three pins. Uh, they are for motherboard use. And yeah, I don't know why I bought this because I already bought the other ones. So yeah, but they are always uh, in need. I I want I bought some also. I believe this one is for a project of uh, do-it-yourself oscilloscope, a small oscilloscope that I will do. And yeah, I think I bought those for that project. And I don't know. Okay, uh, moving on. Let's see what we have here. Whoa. Let's change this and so in here we have what seems to be yep uh, ESP32 board. This is the W room. Opa. I bought this because I have some projects uh, that will use um, this board and also the 3.8 inches, I believe, uh, display. Uh, one of the projects it's a, a YouTube channel counter. So I ordered three more of these 32 bytes uh, controllers. So, yep, yeah, let's see how the the project goes and yeah i want to do a, a counter it will be a nice project um, for this okay so this one uh following what exactly what i i told you before about the oscilloscope i bought a bnc to jack 3.5 jack uh, cable the idea is to be able to connect this to the to the function generator and to test it. So yeah, a very nice cable. If you want one, you will have the on the description the links for it. And today is only small packages. I was on vacation and yeah, I have a lot more, but I will have to do two mailbags and yeah <laughs> okay continuing on the do-it-yourself oscilloscope or soundboard oscilloscope I have here a uh, jack to jack 3.5 to uh, BNC male or female I never know I think this is male what or female well, it doesn't matter. Um, well, the idea behind this is to allow me to connect a probe in this, or in this side. Yeah, like this. To test this as a, a, a capture device to create your own oscilloscope with a PC software. So, yeah. I bought everything at the same time and apparently it arrived everything uh, now. Okay, another package I have here, uh, I don't know, really, I cannot read the letters. And yeah, still on the do-it-yourself oscilloscope. Uh, I'm talking here in two different projects. 
I bought this one because I will do a motherboard, uh, well, a board uh, for the do-it-yourself oscilloscope and I ordered these BNC uh, connectors to solder in the board. Uh, I have here four of them. I hope to, to do it soon. I don't have a lot of time right now in because all, all of the recordings and there are five channels and to be honest I don't know if I will continue with this mailbag channel uh, probably I will just pass the videos to the main electronics channel and I don't know it's it's a little bit hard to maintain everything and after at the time to to do the projects I like it starts missing it lacks the time okay so uh, I think this is a octocoupler I want to test uh, a bit with this I want to play a bit with this yeah the, the idea is to have isolated uh, connection between these two points. Uh, this is a dual octocoupler board and yeah I, I ordered also the ICs for again for the for the oscilloscope do-it-yourself oscilloscope project that I have and but I want a board it's easier to to work when working with Arduinos or ESP or something like that and yeah this is the octocoupler board and this one oh, let me take this out of the way and this one i don't know but i think this is a signal generator uh, let me see if i can confirm sorry guys i i cannot see the the reference i will leave here uh, somewhere the the part number but if I, if my memory is correct i think this is a signal generator uh, i don't know i will have to see i cannot it doesn't have any id on the back and i cannot see the letters on the ic so yeah okay again and I have here two, I think it's, uh, I will leave it to the end, but I think it's for me personally. Let me see what this one is. Ah, okay. I was talking about the, oh, yeah, nice. Let me show you. Uh, I think this should be three units. I only have here two. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we have a problem here. I will have to check. Okay, I went to check and my mistake, it was only two units. Uh, so here it are. Here it, are. here it is. Uh, I will use this as I told you previously with the ASP32 WROM. I ordered uh, some boards from Justin Watts project uh, on PCBY, I believe, and with that I can use this uh, ESP32 with this uh, 3.5 SPI uh, TFT module to create some applications. One of it, or one of the, the applications that I will create is a, a view counter and subscriber counter for my channels. So yeah, and I also have one. I will try to use it to see the, how the, the actions, the stocks, the live stocks, uh, well, the trade livestocks, it's going. 
uh, I have some stock and it will be a nice addition to have it uh, near my working station to control that. Uh, okay, and I believe those. Uh, this is clocks. I can feel it, and this one too. I ordered uh, a lot of uh, t-shirts. If you watch my videos, you probably saw me before with uh, Star Wars t-shirts. And yeah, I ordered a few more. I like it. So let's see what this says. Yeah. Well, in the image seems a little better, but anyway, it seems good. Yeah. And this one should be the same. I will try not to use the knife here to not. Yeah. Let me see what we have here. So this should happen. Okay. So we have here a night, a Christmas GD night. Okay, it seems cool. And well, it has to go to the washer because the smell it's quite intense. And also we have uh, let me see yeah the power of the duck side. Yeah I like this. What are you gonna do? I'm a child. Uh, well that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed. If you do if you did Please subscribe, uh, give a thumbs up, and if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell so you can be the first one to be notified every time I have a new video. That's it for today. Thank you for watching until the end, and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers!